Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Binder. My name is Dave, and we are going back to the Catapult Kingdoms. Let's go. So, if you haven't already seen my review for Catapult Kingdoms, you, well, need to go back and watch that, first of all. And if you have, well, you know that I love the game of Catapult Kingdom. This is the expansion. I back the Kickstarter and, of course, uh, the Vesuvius me Media uh, kind of bulked up my um, pledge. So thank you for that again. And I got this expansion. Now, the game of Catapult Kingdoms traditionally, well, initially more of, is a two-player game. This kind of makes it a four-player game, but mostly it's going to bulk up the two-player game you already have. It adds way more pieces, a new weapon, <laughs> and more boulders and more characters and just more of what I love. If you like dexterity games and you like uh, the Catapult Kingdom, stay tuned. Let me show you what comes in this box and I'll show you what new is added. Let's go. All right, okay, so this is what you get in the Siege expansion. Let's go over the figurines first. Uh, you got like the brave character lookalike, kind of Scottish or Irish. And then you have the um, kind of Spanish, Spain figures here. Now these are bulky. These are very petite. And I gotta say, it feels like these are more top heavy and easier to hit. Even though they're really nice and detailed, if I was going to pick on a strategic kind of front I would pick the smaller miniatures uh, in addition to having these ones be a bigger target but that is a very minor thing uh, the cards are nice uh, big cards got the art on just like before and you get a little more of the same you get two more archways and the bricks each one has different details for each um, race or clan uh, and then you get these bricks that make it look more like a castle I don't know what they're called like pylons I think maybe and they are made from the same material actually I think it's a little bit of a softer kind of plastic ones that are able to get knocked around and uh, absorb uh, impact very well this is very nice production uh, and now it actually looks more like a castle they have ones that have angles like this they have straight ones uh, that go along like that so you can make your castle uh, any way you want and again the styles are different for the other player and it's just check that out but you're not here for those pieces you're here for the catapult now it comes in two pieces so you kind of have to uh, hold it here and then put the the boulder in that way and then shoot it that way it's i'm gonna say you can get more of a pinpoint accuracy with this bad boy here and you get two of those so technically you could play four players if you have the core box and the catapult seeds expansion if you wanted to but the way that you play this is much different than how you play the earlier base set let me show you so again, you'll need the base set to play this. Uh, and instead of shooting at each other, you will be building a structure together to shoot at. And you'll be taking shots back to back and trying to knock off as many of your opponent's pieces and bricks to score points. And you can win by having the highest score. But in the beginning of the game, you of course take your uh, deck and your hand sizing cards, and then you will take all the bricks from both the base set and the seeds expansion, and one by one, each of the players, you or your team, will go back and forth placing bricks and making a structure until all the bricks have been used. And then after that, you will take turn placing your characters or your hit points now you'll pick a clan of five figures but keep the other clan close from the base set because it is possible to have more than five figures out if you use the card powers so let me go ahead and make a structure and then i'll show you how to 
actually play. Okay, so this is my structure all built up. Uh, it's not spectacular, but it's something. So I'm not gonna be going over all the rolls. If you wanna go over the basics, you can go to my initial video of Catapult Kingdoms. I will go over the uh, the powers of sabotage your opponent weapons damage. Uh, place this card in front of the uh, opponent's weapon. So here you will have the crossbow kind of weapon and the catapult. So you can sabotage one of the weapons. Uh, and then you have repair if it's sabotaged. It's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, the diplomacy, a uh, discard this card to pick a card from your discard pile and add it. Um, the reinforcement, take a one of your troops from the box and place it in the following troop troops on the structure here. So again, if you have five up there, you can draw from the uh, stockpile. A long shot after you finish your fire phase this turn, you move your weapon at a, one, a distance one behind your player board and shoot again and then you have just a scratch place the card in front of you face up the next time one of your troops should go into the box you uh, grab it and place it in a different position so again we're not going to be shooting so much with the catapult um, because well we're here for this new weapon so we want to go ahead and shoot this crossbow so our distance is two mikos far and we go ahead and pull this guy back and destruction so the name of the game is you'll be going back and forth like the basic game uh, but you want to not go off your opponent's bricks and or people so you'll get one point per brick here and you'll get two points for each troop you knock off and uh, again it, the bricks have to be all the way off the board though if your bricks get knocked off you have to put one of your bricks from your reserve back in to uh, the box here so there is some punishment for sloppy um shooting so you'll go ahead and do that and your opponent will again take their um card playing turn they'll aim and then they'll shoot one of their weapons now we'll go ahead with this catapult and see how much damage that can do it's see not as powerful it gets the job done but i tell you what this crossbow thing is so very accurate and you can just take it off its a stand if you want. Um, but yeah, I play with this thing outside. Ooh, I love it outside of the game because man, it is. This is the the coolest weapon uh, out of the two by far when it comes to the catapult and the crossbow. I mean, the power in it is just immense. So you'll continue going back and forth, knocking the structure over until all the troops uh, on one side have been knocked over. And then you'll calculate your score, see who the winner is, and you, you'll build up another structure and play it all over again. What do I think of this expansion? How does it add to this game? Well, let me give you my thoughts. So that is the new changes and what this brings to the table and what do I think? Absolutely, this is a no brainer. If I couldn't have any expansions and you'll be seeing the expansions coming up, I think this is the the most critical to get if you have the base set because it adds so much and it adds that new variant of the gameplay. I love being able to build up this structure with your opponent and have new things to shoot at and because the structure is so big it's going to be harder to miss um, as where you are shooting against your opponent in like a longer feet um, of distance at a smaller target it was a little harder and the games would go on longer this really speeds up the game and i like that because i can knock out more games and if i want to go back to the two player variant the base traditional set i absolutely can but why do that when i can have pretty much a just catastrophic building collapse which i love seeing that happen even if i'm a bit sloppy and knock out some pieces that i'm not supposed to it kind of reminds me of those carnival games where you're trying to knock knock over the um, milk jugs or whatever just shooting things down is one of my favorite things and if you like dexterity especially if you like this game this expansion just brings so much more to the table and the production is fantastic it adds two arches which i don't know why we added, needed to add two more arches that's one of the things that i would say why but other than that this nails it and is a great great addition to the collection of catapult kingdoms so if you 
want to stay tuned. We're going to be reviewing more of this game coming here soon. But thank you so much for joining me in today's review. If you haven't already, please click the like and subscribe. My name is Dave. Thank you, Vesuvius Media, for your support. Thank you, Vine Nation, for your support. Until the next time that I see you, my name is Dave, and this is Miko, and we're out. Heard here on Game Line. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance as a dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.